Hi, this is B from Sorcery Soap, and I wanted to show you what soap dough looks like unmolded before it's fully saponified. And that looks like this. See how sticky and terrible it looks? I don't want to touch it too much because it. this is what it's supposed to look like when it, you, it's gone through its full saponification using particular types of recipes. My soap dough recipe is, results in this. And it's not sticky, but it will stick to itself. So there is a process that happens if you unmold too quickly that you're gonna get something that is pliable and looks like this, but is crumbly and doesn't really resemble soap dough. And it won't wash. So I tried to use it before it was ready and that does not produce bubbles. This pliable as it is, still produces wonderful bubbles. So I highly suggest waiting 36 hours before you try to use your soap dough because there is a process that happens that you could, that crumbly soap dough or soap dough that doesn't feel good after 24 hours that is maybe crumbly and sticky and all these other things, that same soap dough could turn into this and you don't want to short circuit that process because the saponification has to go through its full process. And that doesn't just mean that it's cool to the touch. It has to go through the full process. And it's not even about dangerous. It's, it's okay to touch that. That's not the point. The point is trying to get that wonderful, smooth consistency of soap dough so you can make your embellishments. Anyway, I wanted to show this, for, um, I wanted to share this with you so that uh, you realize that there's a process, I like to think of it as magical, a little bit mysterious, that happens while I put my soaps to sleep. And then I don't have to do anything but let time go by, and 36 hours later, I have this very cool soap dough. Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great new year. Bye.